The card game you're going to play requires up to five players. You should probably have everybody kind of set up ahead of time and know when everybody's going to come on because when you click on start the game you're going to have five minutes uh, for everybody to come in. But don't worry if you're the only person there or if there are only two people there or three uh, there will be some ghost players which you'll see in a minute. So to begin the game click the start here button. And normally it'll be a five second way of work, but you'll see that you'll hear a little ding and then uh, your light will be on your uh, particular card set. You're going to get to see your rights. You're going to see the rights of everybody else. And as again, you can see in this particular case, there are three ghost players here. So the idea is for you to take a card, if you're the first player, and move it over into your area and let go. You'll then get to see what that card is. You can discard that one if you want, just by taking it back. Or if you so desire, you can change the rights that you have. You're going to have one minute to do this, and if you don't do it in the one minute, your card will automatically go back to the deck of cards. So I'm going to take this one and move it back. When that happens, the next player will be ready to go. And you're going to get to see what that player is doing also. Now, if you happen to have ghost players, they'll have one second and the computer will automatically just uh, move over the deck. Now, when it gets back to your time and there, are the, and there are cards that are on the deck, you can actually take the one that's on top there if you so desire, or you can take one you're not sure of. So if you take this one again and drag it down to the area, you can again then choose one that's over there. Now again, this will continue until there are no cards in the deck. When there are no cards left in the deck, you will automatically be taken to a summary page that will tell you uh, what your rights and responsibilities are. What's important at this step is that you click this button that says send my results to Angel. You click that, you're going to see a submission successful. I'm going to click OK. And then what's going to happen is you're going to go, well, where are my rights and responsibilities? Because you have to write a, one, a paper on this. So if I scroll down, or if I was happened to be outside of Angel at this particular case, I could come back into the, into the uh, Dropbox and go to the submission. And now what I want to do is click on the submission down here. When I click on the submission, this is where you'll get to see uh, who you are. So when you start the game, you don't know who you are. But when you end the game, after based on your rights and responsibilities, you're going to get to read who you are, and then you should follow the directions on how to write your paper and send it to the Dropbox um, on the Dropbox for the paper on there.